Hello everyone, I just wanted to film another quick wrap up for two for November. I managed to read another 13 books. Granted, some of them are smaller, and I focused on books that had to be back to the library that I could not renew. With that being said, I read eight Babies in the Club books. I gave them each three stars. Again, these are middle grade books that I always feel like could be more in depth. The first one I finished was Christine the Wins Kid Evan, and in this one, the Pedaskies, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that one, they decide to foster a kid, Lou, and she's a little bit troubled. I think it's kind of a cute book, and the Baby Sins Club books, they always focus on all these relatable, or possibly relatable stories, and fostering kids, and Dealing with them is just one example, so I didn't mind that one. The next one was Claudia's friend, and in this one, Shay Rudowski? He is dyslexic, and Claudia is also about to fail in English class, so it's about tutoring and valuing himself like self -worth. So that one's kind of interesting. The next one was Dawn's Family Feud. Feud. And in this one, Jeff comes back from California, and as you can guess, the blended family is fighting. Dawn takes Jeff's side, and there's like miscommunication. The family goes to Boston for a few days, and is just trying to find a new rhythm. And be themselves at the same time. And then was Stacy's big crush. And in this one, oh, Stacy has a crush on the student teacher that seems for the month. And <laughs> this one, these days, would not be appropriate. Like, I could see it being on like the banned bookshelf or anything because it wasn't handled the best nowadays. Kind of interesting. Then I read Made Me the Anne. And this one, she meets an elderly neighbor, and she exchanges sewing lessons for that first money, but then to help because her, the lady broke the ankle, but then it becomes too much, and she's just a maid instead of, like, it takes over her whole life. And then we have the mystery novels, which those have always laughed to me because they're really not mysteries as I would see them. In this one, Christine the Haunted Mansion... Christy and Christy and Bunt, remember he's the rival baseball team captain, they end up going away to a game, the Crashes game, and it's raining and they end up having to stay at this mansion and it's supposedly haunted. And then you find out more about the story, which is kind of cute. Probably one of my favorite Christy books actually. And then there's Jesse and the Jewel Thieves, and in this one, Jesse goes to visit Quint and she stays at Stacy's dad's house apartment with Stacy for the weekend, and they think that there's jewel thieves, and they're trying to cap capture them, and they spy on them. Kind of interesting. And the last one I read was Stacy and the Mystery Money, and in this one, Stacy doesn't realize that she got a counterfeit bill, and then they're trying to capture, like, who's the counterfeit is and put them behind buttons. Cheesy relatable in these days, I guess. And this one, I struggled reading for a couple months. I didn't read that many pages, but I finally got to it, and I thought it was a really good book. I gave it four stuns. And in this one, Mana is the main kitten. She has a brother, twin, Owen. And Owen is dating Mana's friend, Hannah. And Hannah um, declares that Owen raped her. And Mana doesn't know who to believe, and it delves deeper into the story. I thought this one was beautiful. It was hard to read, obviously triggers for the rape and slut shaming and all that good stuff. Well, not so good stuff. But I really enjoyed it overall. I also read Heretics Anonymous, and in this one, Michael goes to a Catholic school, not by choice, and he is an atheist. And then he meets a group of friends, which are unique and diverse. 
and they don't agree with everything that the Catholic tradition holds. This one was a good one to read. I gave it four stars. I would say if you're a hardcore Christian and you have a hard time reading about heretics and everything like that, probably not the best book for you. Overall, I enjoyed it and I'm glad I finally read it. I also read Three Dark Crowns, an audiobook. And this one I meant to read last year, I just never got to it, sadly. In this one, there's three triplets that are born, like, royally. And they have to, like, there's one crown, and they have to kill each other. And it, I mean, obviously it's a more complex one than that. I'm so glad I finally got to it, and I'm looking forward to reading the Knits edition in the book, in the Knits sequel. So there's that one. I finally managed to finish the majority of Red, White, and Royal Blue. And in this one, I'm giving it four stars. It took me about 100 pages or so to get into the book. And once I did, I quite enjoyed it. The only thing is, is I'm not a political, like, story person. That kind of plot doesn't interest me. And if it doesn't interest you even, you'll find it less enjoyable than others, I'm thinking. And in this one, it's a male-male romance. It is the Prince of Wales and the Fun Sun. That's all I want to say about that one. I get the swoon and the hype. Just not as hyped up for me. I mean, it was a little bit overhyped for me. But I still enjoyed it. The last book I read, I gave five stars. And that's Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This one was so good. The main Kenton, she's been traveling a lot, and she comes back to L.A., and it follows two different timelines of, like, if she made one decision one night, and it follows through, and some people might not like the ending. For me, I liked it. It was satisfying enough. So, romance, interesting. I don't think, the only book I remember reading something like it was Pivot Point. By Casey West. Similar, but not exactly the same. Alright, so there you have it. I read another 13 books. That brings it up to 17 books I read this month. Yes, I know some of them were Baby Sins Club books, but they had to be back to the library. And I'm making my way through other books yet. Just didn't get to them before this one. So you'll see an update in about a week. And so I know once it gets Thanksgiving... I'm going to slow down with my reading. We'll stop completely for a while. Alright, so there you have it. There's my reading for the last week or so. How's your reading going? Thanks for watching and have a great day.